Good evening everyone, Total 81 here with another figure review. Today we're going to be continuing the Roaring Desu Goji collection and we're going to supplement it with a King Ghidorah, Marusan King Ghidorah. Now what makes this review a little different is that I'm not going to be reviewing figures that are painted by Marmot or Metacom. These are figures that I painted myself and I'd like to go ahead and take this opportunity to share that with you guys. So we'll go ahead and start this off with our Roaring Desugoji. Now, this guy is Black Vinyl. He's from the Godzilla Vinyl Wars release. That was just released not too long ago with all the intricate burning patches on it. Very nice, very epic. Now, there's a process that goes into painting these figures if you decide to do anything like that. It, it's, 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 not, it's not easy. It takes time and um, with with time with every try you get a little better at it and when i went ahead and hit this guy up i got a real nice outcome i love the way that the, the paint came out and it just it really strikes it's, it's very nicely done and i don't mean to polish my own boots saying that but um getting forward with this again this is the classic scope that we're already used to he has a uh, one two three four five points of articulation nothing's changed there very awesome, very epic. Now, painting has always been one of my hobbies, drawing, and um, when I saw the kind of work that's done by people like Max Toy, you know, um, Mark Nagata, uh, James Osborne, a Vinyl Kaiju Legion, it just made me feel like, wow, well, you know, let me see what I can do. And, you know, I picked up this hobby and it came out pretty nice. There's a lot of um, different styles, different takes on what you do, but. Um, Whatever you do, do, just keep in mind that um, you can't really mess up. You mess up, that's it, you can't really go back and to really repair any damages. You know, each one of these figures can go roughly for about 75 to 80 bucks, depending on which one it is that you get. And if you're going to go ahead and paint, you know, you're not going to find a uh, blank easily. So go ahead and do whatever you can if it is that you want to go ahead and try it out. But this guy right here came out real nice. I went ahead and hit him with a candy green, candy red, and a candy yellow. His actually, underneath this, there's a blue. So what that is, is there's a base coat of silver. Very nice silver that goes under this guy. On top of that, I shot him with some blue. And then when you hit that with yellow, it gives you this green. So this green is not an actual paint. You're not going to find it. It's something that I ended up mixing up in the process. Very nice here. And I'm I'm real I'm really proud of the way this guy came out. I really love it. And being that this is a roaring Desu Goji, it just makes it even that much special. That much more special, I'm sorry. There you go. He came out super glossy. Very epic, very nice. Again, just another part of my Roaring Desu Goji collection. Wanted to share it with you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take him out of frame. I will show you the header card, but I didn't go ahead and look for it because we all know what the Vinyl Wars header cards look like. Now this is the black Marusan King Ghidorah. I'll show you the card for him right here. Very nice and epic. Now, as we all know, Marusan is epic for their Hedora. I think, I think Marusan's Hedora is the best figure out there for Hedora. I mean, yeah, Giga Brain comes pretty close, but um, in my eyes, my opinion, it's all about that Marusan. Now, this is the Marusan King Hedora. Very nice, very epic. I actually acquired this guy. From a good friend of mine, Jeffrey Mulek. Again, you guys have heard him mention countless times on my channel. Love you, brother. And this guy was actually a solid black. It was a blank figure. And I went ahead and commissioned it myself. Again, I ended up painting this guy with a gold base instead of that silver. And the colors came out different. Again, that base. It's all about that base. Whatever does pop out, it's going to be about that base. I went ahead and used um, dry brushing techniques on him, um, 
I used spray cans. I ended up using a uh, airbrush. I mean, I, I did all kinds of different things with this guy and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Fortunately and unfortunately, he's about to go ahead and leave my collection. Uh, found the buyer for him and you know, this guy is actually leaving too, which is another reason why I took this opportunity to make this review because I wasn't going to get it again. They're going to go ahead and depart for Singapore tomorrow. So, show you guys again. This guy is blue with gold, red, green, and yellow. Now, my my inspiration for this was that, that old poster of the Showa King Ghidorah where it showed what his colors were supposed to be, what the original colors that they were going for were. And um, I used that, I based this paint job after that. It's not accurate to it, but then again, neither, neither is the figure. Now, one thing to note with this figure, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points of articulation with this figure. It is absolutely massive. I'm gonna go ahead and measure him for you guys. I didn't measure the Desu Goji because we all know how tall he is. We've already measured him in the past. This guy stands at about 12 and a quarter inches tall. Wingspan looks at about 12 inches. Length, I'm clocking him length at about 13 inches. Very proud of the way this guy came out. Super nice, super epic. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If there's anything you guys think I could have done differently or just give me an opinion. I'd like to hear any kind of comments, you know. Go ahead and hit me up. I'm just real happy to go ahead and be able to share this with you guys before they go, before they leave. I'm going to go ahead and paint more of them, you know, in the future. But uh, these, both of these guys hold a really special place in me. But... Like I said, you know, the collection is growing. I need to make room. And it gets to the point where you need to start, you know, Xing out certain figures to make room for other figures and really just kind of narrow down your collection. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys in for the customary closer look. Very proud of the way this guy came out. You can see that blue coming through the green. I mean, in hand, in person, it looks ridiculously nice. Let me know also if you guys ever want to have anything commissioned or if you guys have any figures you want to get painted, let me know. I go ahead and do, I do do commissions on the outside. Show you guys these heads. Again, I'm very proud of the way this all came out. It takes time, it takes a lot of time. It's, it's not It's not something that's, oh shit, I'm gonna do it in one day, one afternoon, no. It, it took me roughly about a week and a half to get this guy all done between the different layers of paints, curing. If you don't let the paint cure right, then you're gonna have all these kinds of issues and that's just not the way to do it, man. Like I said, please go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Positive and negative opinions are all welcome. Again, Toruk81 here. I'm about to sign off. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your figures. Keep the kaiju faith alive. See you guys in the next figure reveal. Which won't be that far because I got a couple of new ones coming in. Goodbye, guys.